Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here this morning. I am Margaret Lowe Smith. I'm the president of Atlantic Live. It's the events division of the Atlantic Magazine. And welcome to our food summit. A friend of mine's grandmother used to always say that food is one of life's few reliable pleasures. And one of my favorite songs as a kid came from the musical Oliver, where orphans who only got gruel used to close their eyes and think about food. They'd imagine food, glorious food, hot sausage and mustard. And then they'd go on, peas, pudding, and saveloys. What next is the question? Rich gentlemen have it, boys, in digestion. <laughs> food is the tie that binds us. Many of us will be sitting around a Thanksgiving table in a few weeks. But everyone knows that despite the warm, benign feelings that we might have about food, it is a subject as fraught with fraughtness as just about anything. And it's this range of ideas about food that we're here to talk about today. What's in the food we eat? How is it made? Is it healthy? Is it safe? Is there enough to go around? And why are so many of us obese? So this morning, we'll hear from chefs, policymakers, farmers, food writers. We'll find out who among us are super tasters. And I hope we're going to have some fun. I want to thank our underwriters, Elanco and Nestle, for making our gathering this morning possible. And a few notes before we get started. We're on Twitter, of course, at Atlantic underscore live. You can join the conversation using the hashtag Atlantic food. Um, and we're going to be taking your questions after each session, so don't be shy. So let's get rolling. Our first conversation is about childhood nutrition. And for that, I'm delighted to welcome Senator Debbie Stabenow of Michigan. She's on a mission to get healthy food into schools. And my colleague, Steve Clemens, Washington editor at large, here to lead the conversation. Steve, take it away. Thank you. 